kesan uh, yang besar dari segi uh, integrasi kaum keharmonian kaum ya, antara kaum uh, kalau uh, rakan-rakan ingat pada tahun 2000 ada satu peristiwa yang agak uh, menyedihkan yang berlaku di dalam kampung kita ya. kawasan kaum Medan uh, jadi kalau inilah yang akan berlaku persempadanan semula dia akan uh, mengasingkan kaum yang lain itu untuk berintegrasi kelompok berpendapatan sederhana rendah dan rendah. Jadi ini saya lihat satu uh, satu tindakan yang sangat bahaya kerana kita mengumpulkan semua masalah penduduk di satu kawasan yang padat. Ya, jadi uh, ini tidak boleh membantu untuk kita uh, memberi kesejahteraan kepada rakyat. Jadi uh, juga saya lihat apabila Section 14 utara itu daerah mulia ya, saya tahu Section 14 utara, Section 14 selatan dan juga Section 2 uh, yang akan dipindahkan mereka akan masuk ke dalam zon uh, Bukit Kasim yang sudah juga ada tambahan pengundi daripada zon yang lain daripada Daman Sarawak Utara. Jadi ini akan menambah lagi uh, ya, untuk satu peruntukan yang mungkin sedia ada tempat itu dibahagikan kepada lebih ramai rakyat ya, untuk diberikan perhatian lah. jadi saya nampak itu uh, satu tindakan yang tidak wajar uh, kemudian kalau section 2 sendiri uh, dia sebenarnya dia adalah sekelompok daripada komuniti yang sama uh, uh, berkongsi sejarah pembangunan kawasan yang sama dengan section 3 dipindahkan sekarang ni maknanya dipisahkan daripada kelompok komuniti yang sama. Jadi ini uh, tidak membantu ya uh, untuk pembangunan tempat yang sama. Jadi saya uh, juga ya seperti mana diraja sebut tadi kita tidak akan berhenti hanya kepada 100 pengundi kita akan uh, bukakan kepada semua yang terkesan pada pemindahan uh, itu sejumlah 5 700 orang 5,700 will be affected from the three uh, uh, that are mainly so you know you're saying uh, about the fact that I'm going to say that we are going to see PJ Selatan dia menjadi tempat yang tertentu satu jumlah yang besar dan daerah ataupun pusat pusat mengundi yang akan wujud selepas persembahan dan semula sebanyak 56 that's a huge number you see you know 56 stones <laughs> maknanya jumlah ni yang besar lah jadi um, tidak ada ya, bagi, bagi kawasan seperti sahabat pernah mungkin dia ada dalam 30 20 lebih gitu ya, less than 30 so um, dia akan um, apa tu, menambahkan kos bebanan kepada uh, PJ selatan 
silakan berbanding secara benar. Uh, jadi itu secara uh, rumusannya lah. Eh. Uh, kalau bantahan daripada uh, Taman Medan, dia akan uh, atas dasar tersebut. Lepas itu dia untuk pembahagian untuk kaum, uh, dia tidak menggambarkan masyarakat Malaysia yang mereka berkembang di masa ini. Kedua, kongsi dengan lebih ramai pengunjung. Jadi ibu puan jadi mungkin a uh, uh, untuk yang ada tu tidak boleh melebihi eh, uh, keperluan pengunjung yang ada. Berbanding kalau kawasan yang penuh ada lebih rendah. Jadi ya. Okey, uh, this is Haris Ibadi, our activist and resident I have uh, good morning. I have voted in Bukit Jasa Negeri Bukit Selatan all my life. I have also the last 10 years actively been trying to bring about reform. Uh, the stumbling block that we have faced is an electoral system that has been hugely inflicted by process of gerrymandering and malapportionment. Um, as my representative from Bukit Gasing has pointed out, after a close study of the proposed redelimination that the Election Commission has now announced, it's plainly obvious that the process of gerrymandering and malapportionment will continue unabated. The fact that we are seeing an almost 50,000 increase in voters in PJ Selatan makes it very plain that the whole purpose of this exercise is not to achieve the requirement of approximate equality that the Constitution requires, but to pander to the needs of a BN regime to cling on to power. Um, Having, having had the opportunity to first study the, the proposed redelimination, having had the opportunity to listen to our elected representatives, uh, residents, some of whom are already here, are stepping forward and yes, we now have 79,000, almost 80,000 elected uh, registered voters in Petaling Daya Selatan. I want to take this opportunity to urge all of them, all of them, come out and join this initiative, put your name down on this list. I think it's important to send a message to the Election Commission that it's not just the minimum 100 that are coming up to say no to this, that we will defend our right to vote, that we will defend the concept of the equality of vote in PJ Selatan. We will not take this redelimination exercise lying down. We are not prepared to give a blank check. So on that note, I and my friends are here this morning to lend support, to put our names forth as objectors to this redelimination exercise. And I, I, I want to say a big thank you to our elected representatives who have uh, moved early, moved early. I also understand that this will be a continuing effort. The cutoff date is the 14th, um, and I hope residents elected uh, registered voters in PJ Slatan will join our representatives to push this forward. Thank you. Okay, so residents, okay. <laughs> residents who want to join uh, this objection uh, can sign this form in my office. Uh, we open Monday to Friday, 10 to 5 p.m. and also on uh, Wednesday night from 7.30 to 10. So anyone who is a voter, as long as you're a Hindi, you can in this constituency. Yes, I have my Okay, so this is Okay, so this is the form. Uh, the SPR Bantahan form. So the, the the points of what we are objecting is written here, what we have explained just now. And then the form has the, the space for you to write down all your names. Uh, IC number, signature of the people who are objecting. Right? 
So SPR has made it difficult because the format of the form like this means that you have to come, everyone has to come to one place to sign the same, to sign the form. It cannot be. They have to come here. Yeah. So we have to keep, we have to keep the form in a common place. Quiet. Yes. They cannot just sign up on the internet the yeah, objection yes, yes. because this is the format. This is the one and only so can we way. Can we copies with just the signing page on the front page? Uh, so we, are, we are smarter than this. <laughs> we shall not say that in front of the cameras. <laughs> I, will, I will repeat it again and again. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, unfortunately, people cannot just sign up on the internet. All right. You need to physically sign uh, this form. Okay. Hard copy. Right, so we will make it available, and at the same time, we will also be going around to coffee shop markets and and uh, functions to where where we can get uh, voters to bring the form to them to get them to sign as well. Uh, so one of it is uh, this weekend we having voter registration activity in Jaya One, so we'll also bring this there, so that uh, at the same time we kill two birds in one stone. Everyone who wants to sign the objection can also sign the. So I think to, to signify the start of this campaign, I'd like to 